that one of our watchers actually, oh my gosh, thank you for telling me that it was recording thingy. Um, so I actually read a guide that, that um, one of our watchers, probably the only watcher, <laughs> recommended. And so I changed up my deck a bit because apparently I was using some of the worst cards in the game, which makes it a lot harder, doesn't it? Right. So right. My, I changed my build, as it were. Right. My friend Matt, Reset. yeah, sent that over. Yes, I just, Matt. I'm not changed. Thanks to Matt. <laughs> I've not changed my uh, cards since reading that. So um, I think we're oh. just going to go with it. And if we die again, then I'll, I'll look at, I'll revisit what cards I have. I guess. <laughs> Check back next time when we play easy. <laughs> right, right. I'm gonna, so I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Draw a card. Okay. Oh, geez. This is so small. Oh, it's on my computer. Okay. <laughs> oh, Can you see that? <laughs> well, yes, but I it can't was read a, it. It was a truly marvelous night full of alcohol and fuzzy memories. You're heading back to your rooms in high spirits when you take a wrong turn into an alley and trip over a mutilated corpse. What's all this then? You look up to see a city guard walk into the alley, annoyed by all the noise you were making in your revelry. Before you can react, he draws his sword. You, what did you do? You look and see that, due to the fall, your clothes are now covered in blood. The guard clearly thinks you are responsible for the man's death. This night just took a serious turn for the worse. Do we? do our best to explain that the man was like this when we found him, or panic and kill the guard, then dispose of both corpses. Oops. <laughs> um, I'm going to say try to convince the guard, because I feel like I'm not really a panic and kill the guard kind of person. Because I can't even kill the bad guys in the scenario. So I'm going to take on a probably not very highly trained city guard. I don't yeah. know. How do you feel? Well, I mean, I thought we were <laughs> um, morally good, <laughs> but I guess we don't have. <laughs> yeah, we haven't discussed our alignment. <laughs> <laughs> um, but <laughs> I tend to play chaotic good. Same. So chaotic good. Well, th there isn't a chaotic good option there. There's only evil or good. Let's stammer. Let's stammer on oh. this. Stammer through it, relying on our okay. <laughs> social skills. Okay. <laughs> Rely on our very poor social. Okay. Um, <laughs> do we have reputation five? We do not. We have reputation zero still. Okay. Attempts to explain yourself just seem to make the situation worse. More guards show up and everyone else, everyone eyes you suspiciously. Luckily, your weapons don't match the man's wounds and the guards let you go. They do so <laughs> with a mistrustful glare. We lose two reputation. No! Uh, I don't know if we can go below zero, though. We can go below zero. Can. Yeah. Blame. We now have negative two reputation. That's really sad. <laughs> okay. We tried to do what was right. Did we gain? I feel like we should have gained reputation for doing that logging thing that we did before. But I don't think we did. I think we just got gold that time. Hmm. Can I type here? Are you gonna buy anything while we're in town or oh no, you didn't have enough money. Right? I had no not enough money. Let's see, minus two left. How sad would that be if we like try to play it correct and moral? and then end up just with like super bad reputation because <laughs> we're just inept. <laughs> right. 
Right. It wouldn't be, you know, unheard of, I guess, <laughs> to have an inept uh, party. <laughs> um, okay, before we get further, uh, welcome to episode three of Bloom Haven <laughs> with Melissa and Mark. Um, we're sort of doing this as part of uh, Nasaga podcasts. Nasaga is the North American Simulation and Gaming Association, and uh, the conference is going to be in Montreal this year um, uh, in October 21st to 24th. So check it out. Um, we're posting this on YouTube and Facebook and mirror or cross posting it to Nasaga boards and stuff like that. So um, it's a fun conference. There's no plug. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, just to remind you all, we're playing this game called Gloomhaven, um, where only the this is only our third time meeting. The first time we died spectacularly, and the second time um, we su were successful. Actually, even more spectacularly, I feel like, because because uh, Melissa was able to pull it off on the very last <laughs> round before she died. <laughs> <laughs> I was watch about that. to die. <laughs> so, sorry to spoil it if you didn't watch that episode. But go watch that and 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 check out the crazy climax at the end. Um, <laughs> but it means we unlock the next scenario, which is uh, further into the lair of this um, uh, bad guy that we're trying to find, I guess. And <laughs> I guess both of us have predicted our deaths again. <laughs> <laughs> this scenario looks really hard <laughs> and considering how um not good we've been at conserving cards let's say how both of us um we uh it, this could go really badly quite quickly um so so tune in next week for when we try again on easy level because <laughs> right <all> <laughs> Oh, and um, while we're updating everybody, so while we were in town, I went shopping and I got a helmet that um, takes the the two x attack modifier down to a plus zero, which is important because I still only have eight hit points. So um, there's a boss in this scenario who can hit for three, just basic hit for three. So it would be very bad for me to have any two x hits against me. So got a helmet. So now I'm wearing a helmet and some steampunk goggles. Looking super Pretty snazzy. Classy. Maybe we should start cosplaying as our characters. <laughs> I'm bad at that. Have you not talked to Aiden about my inability to do those things? I'm bad. <laughs> I just laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> so for in order for our watchers to not have to just endure two hours of giggling, they already kind of have to, but it will be worse. Okay. Um are you drinking anything this time? I'm drinking... I am drinking coffee. Yeah, I thought about mug. adding some Baileys to it. Ooh, nice. That's in my mug. Can't really... Jeez. The glare is terrible. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I can tell what it is. It's even... Is that one from, like, actual Europe? Because it's got the toucan on it, and that's not usually a thing you see here in... This, in it says United. it's a collector's special edition can, but I got oh. it from Costco. <laughs> 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 Have you ever had legitimate Guinness, like uh, in not in the well, United not States? like in Ireland or anything? But um, I did go to a like Guinness, I don't know what you call it, tavern pub um, in Amsterdam, which is probably you probably place. had the correct stuff then. I, didn't I found have it. In I found it in one Irish pub in Seattle. It was definitely not the American version. It's oh. way better. Is it the one that we went to for the, um, mm -hmm. the Nasago when it was in Seattle in 2015? Yep. Yep, <laughs> Good that plug again. <laughs> <laughs> so go to the one in Seattle. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. Five years ago, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my um, God. Five years. All right. Okay, so on the way here, we have to do a road event, which we forgot to do last time. And fingers crossed it will be a good road event since we just lost reputation points. Right. Because um, we're the inept. We're the inept. Uh, I'm going to draw a card again. Okay. And then read it. Um, okay. So, 
you see smoke on the horizon and catch the vague stench of burning flesh. You hasten your step to see what catastrophe lies ahead of you on the road. After a few minutes, you come upon a trade caravan ravaged by a pack of vermins. If the tracks in the mud are any indication, dead bodies and broken upturned carts lie across the path, but you can also see a few survivors, wounded and bloody on the ground. A woman limps across the road carrying pieces of wreckage. Do we help the survivors deal with the carnage or finish the job the vermin started and loot whatever is left? We definitely help people. I'm not, <laughs> I am not attacking a wounded caravan. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I flipped it over. Um, do we are we either a brain class or a I don't know what that is a flower. Neither of us are those things. Um, what are the options? Like uh, depending on our character classes, there's like oh. a special thing that happens, but neither of us are these these character classes. Okay. You disperse through the scene, tending to people's wounds and getting them back on their feet. It takes a few supplies, but they seem grateful in the end. Consume one item each, but gain a reputation. Okay, well, so I guess I have to give back my helmet because I'm not giving back my goggles. Consume it? Does that mean it goes away forever? Uh, I don't, I thought it just meant I don't know. I don't know. I thought it just meant it's um it goes back in the city pile. No, I mean I thought it meant that we just have used it this turn. I mean this scenario. Oh, I see what you mean. But All we right, could I'll look just... up what the word consume means, I guess. Let me see. Okay, so um, it's consume if something is consumed after use, they can only be refreshed using specific abilities. All items are refreshed between scenarios. Okay, so basically, okay, so then in that case, if I don't have to give it back, I am actually going to flip my eagle eye goggles because that's an advantage on attack situation. Mm -hmm. And I am more concerned about taking damage right now. That may not be the correct answer, but that's the answer I am going to go with. Okay. Um, I've already decided that it's too much of a pain in the ass using the screen mirror mirroring on the phone because it's it requires this USB cable that is too short. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so like I keep leaning over, which is why I'm leaning over. <laughs> Let me look, look at me. <laughs> It's pretty uncomfortable, so I'm gonna plug it, and I'm just gonna use my phone okay. <laughs> regularly. <laughs> um, 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 okay, but wait, how much reputation do we get? It was a plus one, so we're at negative one. Okay, so one, we're back right? to negative one. <laughs> we are really bad at reputation. <laughs> yep. Okay. So we are now at the lair, I guess. Yeah. And I am setting up in the right hand corner. Okay. Of the like right there. first room. I guess I'll be in yep. front of you. Okay. And so for those of you who can't really see, there's two archers and two stun traps. Do we know what stun traps do? Should we look? Um, I can guess. I bet they stun you. Uh, I bet they do too, but I wonder if they also do damage. That's what I'm wondering. Oh, good question. I don't know. What page are traps on? <laughs> I don't see anything about traps. But just this. I mean, the stun effect is just a, it's just a stun. There's no damage. Yeah. I don't see anything about the traps. Okay. Why can't I find out about traps? So we're just going to call that a stun because we can't find it. 
in. Sorry, I'm bad at looking things up, I guess. Oh, wait, here we go. Traps. Okay, if trap effects are varied and are specified in the scenario book. So that just says stun. So I think it just stuns us. So we can't do anything. It doesn't say anything about damage. Right. Um, did you read the special rules? I did. So we also have to add. God damn it. Cards. Yay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to mess around with that camera again. Okay. So basically, a curse just means that we uh, don't do any damage. It, it's an attack modifier of whiff. Of what? Uh, of, it, whiff. It's a, of whiff. <laughs> <laughs> the extra camera, by the way, is now showing nothing. Okay. Three, three of them, right? These guys. Yep, those guys. I'm sad. I already have enough trouble. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we're doomed. We're still alive, but we're doomed. Okay. I like that you also set up it like upside down, I guess, compared to the way it showed it in the scenario book. I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm not reaching way over here to do all the first stuff, so I just flipped it around too. The other thing that I discovered, which is really cool, but also a little confusing, is that your doors, there's ones that are flat, that face towards the flat, and some that face towards the point. And I got two of them mixed up and was totally confused why I didn't have enough doors that worked. Right. It's really well designed. That's the kind of stuff that, like, the attention to detail that you don't see all the time, let's say. Should I put the, um, you know how oh, long the thing it has, like, the doors are all labeled, A, B, C, D, and stuff? Should I put those things on? Yeah, we could put those things on. You could put those things on. Where did I put mine? I think I put mine away. I did. Mine are all, all my tokens are basically mixed up, so. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, this is no good. Where are you, A? A. Oh, so I actually, when we get that far, if we get that far, I have a question about how this boss works. Okay. Because he seems like he's got these special abilities, and I feel like I don't understand how often they trigger, when they trigger, if they both trigger at the same time. So I think we need to make some party decisions about how we're dealing with that. It's entirely possible. I just don't understand, though. Okay, my um, D token has been replaced by a four token. Okay. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna read the intro. The stench of death and rotting flesh, again, <laughs> gets thicker as you kick <laughs> past the corpses of your foes and head deeper into the underground burial site. Oh, are we not supposed to go to the town? No, we could go back to town. You can always go back to town. Okay, but it just seems weird. Well, our, the bodies have been sitting there for almost two weeks now, so of course they're super stinky now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Guided by the muffled sounds of conversation, you find your way through the maze of crypts and burst into a small room full of hard-faced bandits, all with bows at the ready. They're clearly guarding something. You must be in the right place. 
Okay, then. And I guess we get started. Okay. Oh, we have to we have to do our um, these guys. Oh yeah. One hour later, and we're still setting up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy tune in next week when we actually play. <laughs> well it took a while again to set up i think because i had to i had to reset up the table and all that stuff because mm -hmm. um, we had a house guest that left okay so i'll draw two pick one for me Um, I guess I'll show the camera. Okay, I won't look. Okay, and I'll draw two for you to look at. Do you care which camera I pointed at? No. Okay, I don't know if they're upside down or whatever. Okay, I've got them. That's weird. They were right next to each other in my in my too. Maybe both of us didn't shuffle well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've picked mine. Okay. I guess we're we're on round one, huh? We are on round one. Okay, so the archers, um, normally they just shoot whoever's closest, right? Yes. Well, they focus, and you're closest, so they're going to try to shoot you, I think. Oh, there was one card I had that like you can move somebody that you're next to. So like if I had put that card in here, I could have moved next to somebody and then made him like go into the stun trap. Oh, I do have it. You can move you is that just allies? You you can move One adjacent enemy. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm I'm going to try to do some stuff to um, the one on the right. Okay. If that helps you. And fairly early on. Oof. Okay, I'm I'm ready. Okay, me too. Uh, my number is twenty. Mine's a four. <laughs> <laughs> Your fairly early on is nothing compared to my fairly early on. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget how how quick you are, but hopefully I will be ahead of the archers, right? Hopefully. I've got four. You've got what number? 20. Two zero.
They have 44. Woo okay, so first I'm gonna do this. Move the bottom one, move three, and then make somebody move one. One, okay. two, and then make him move on to the stun trap. Okay. So now he's done, I believe. Yes, I think so. Um, and then I'm attacking for just three. If you attack someone who's stunned, do they get unstunned? I'm not sure. Possibly. At the end of the next turn, it's the stun is removed. Okay. So I'm attacking him uh, for three damage, plus one, four damage. Oh, that's good. That's only one. We only need one more damage then. So that guy's number one. Okay. Um. I am going to start off moving two, just plain moving two. Um, so one, two, and then I have this. I'm going to try to stun the other guy. Um, so it's an attack one, range of three, and stun. So minus one. So I do no damage, but I do stun this other one. Okay. So they go, but both of them are stunned. <laughs> yep. Okay. That was fine. Good, good first round. Yeah. We have certainly done worse before. <laughs> Let's see. Man, I've got nothing good here. Ooh. Do you think we should go through the door now? I think we should probably get rid of these guys first, because they're just going to follow us in and shoot us from behind. Because they're not stunned anymore. Yeah, I guess so. Um, okay, I have a question on, um, are they stunned until the beginning of this round or are they still stunned until their turn? It's said until the end of their next turn, which, did that count as their next turn? At the end of its next turn, the stun token is removed. So I feel like they hadn't had their turn yet, so that was the next turn. Right, so they're no longer stunned. No longer stunned. Okay. That makes sense. We're not that powerful. <laughs> yeah. Guess I'll do that, and then...
Ooh, got no good options here. Okay. Um, I've got 33. I have 34. 33, 34. They have 16. <laughs> oh, uh, sad. They move three, attack one with a range of four. So number one, which is this guy right here. Mm -hmm. um, he has to back up he because to they're range. Here or something, like here or something, right? Unless he shoots at me. Hmm. Do those traps go away once they're triggered? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Bye bye, trap. I think he goes after me because I have a lower initiative. Oh, yep, yeah, that's true. So I'm, I'm just going to move Wait, him. Wait, he doesn't have to move to attack me. Oh, no. Does he get disadvantage because he's next to me? Or only disadvantage if the, you're next to the person that you're attacking? Disadvantage if you, only if you're next to the person you're trying to attack. Well, it goes by the um, closest and lowest initiative. Okay, so then he does focus on you. So then he moves back and then shoots me. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, with attack one. Mm -hmm. uh, draw a card. Plus zero. So it does one damage. Okay. And then the other guy uh, also shoots me. He doesn't have to move. Mm -hmm. So he draws a card. Minus one, so he does zero damage. Yay! All right. Um, then uh, I'm gonna. Jeez. I guess I'm gonna finish off this guy. Remove one and then attack him. For three plus zero. So he's dead. Dead. Bye. Okay, your turn. Okay. I am going to attack this guy. Um, I have an attack to range of three. Um, I was going to attack both of them. It's a two target one, but you killed him. So no worries. Uh, two, three. Yep. And I got a plus zero. So I do two damage. Oh, darn it. I should attack the other guy. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that I had intended to attack both of them. So that's on me. And I'm going to move. I have a move four, so I'm going to go one. Now I guess I want to stay in range in case I need to kill him. Actually, I'm going to go up in this corner by the door. Three, four. Okay. Done and done. So you're right next to the door? Well, not right next to the door. I'm like in the corner. One more over. Can you hear? Let me. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> there. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put in the loot. Did that wrong. Yeah. 
Okay. Ready? Um, I've got 23. I have 18. 18, 23, they have 29. You go first. Okay, so I am doing a Toxic Bolt, which is um, attack of two, range of three, and poison. And it also puts the, um, the whatever this green one is, earth, I guess. It charges that, even though that does, it's not super useful for us because neither of us use it. Okay, so that person is poisoned now, and I got plus zero, so I did two more damage. So we only need one more damage. Okay. And um, and then my other one is uh, move four, but I'm gonna move two over here and get this loot. Looted. Okay. And that's my turn, all done. Hmm. Did I just mess you up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did I mess you up? I just did damage and took money. I know. I was hoping you would kill him, honestly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I was close. Right up in his face. Okay. I'm just moving right up in his face. And then I don't have an attack card. I have a disarm the trap for two experience points. Okay. Now his turn. He's got move to attack one range five and he immobilizes when he attacks. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that trap. Oh well. He's going to move so that he doesn't have disadvantage. Yeah. And then attack me because I'm closer. Uh, and he draws a plus one, so he does two damage. Okay. For those of you who didn't tune in last week, I'm also keeping track of Mark's hit points because I have healing. So I need to know when I need to heal Mark. Okay. Well, that was not as awesome as I hoped. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're taking too long on these two guys. Yeah, I feel like that too. I feel like we were we did really well in the first round, and then we've sort of just been sad since then. Would it be crazy for me to go through the door now? Um, no, I think I can take care of this guy. Yeah. Okay, I've got uh, 10. I have 46. They have 56. Okay, I'm going to move two. One of them is through the doorway. Uh, you open the door to a large crypt littered with coffins. At the back stands your quarry. He fits the description, but there is something previously unnoticed in his eyes, a dark, otherworldly force. Who are you to think you can interrupt the work of the gloom? A dark energy engulfs his hands as he speaks. I will show you what you are dealing with. Special rules. Doors A, B, C, and D are locked but can, and can only be opened by the bandit commander. The bandit commander immediately jumps into a door hex, regardless of how far away it is, and opens it, revealing the adjacent room, starting with A. The bandit commander jumps to the door in the order of A, B, C, D, and then back to A. Uh, on his turn, or immediately? 
That was, I was wondering if it was like he opens a door on four turns in a row. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. first he opens A, jumps back, and B. The bandit commander summons one normal living bonus for two characters or one elite living bonus for three or four characters. Oh, these are, these are the special things that happen if his card says they happen, I think. Right, but so they don't actually, it doesn't actually say when it happens. No, it happens when you draw the card that says it happens. Like he probably has his own deck of cards, right? Oh, I guess so. All right, we'll go with that. And if we don't, if he doesn't do anything interesting for a bit, then we'll. <laughs> <laughs> we'll know we cheated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so copy that. Oh, and he. They need to draw for initiative, right? Yeah. There's three coffins. There's the bandit commander. This dude. Does he get a special base? Uh, I didn't give him a special base because he can't be elite. He's just natural. I guess he's naturally elite. Naturally elite. I'll give him a special. <laughs> the other guys. Oh, and it's just this one guy <laughs> next to him, right? Yeah, just one. An elite bandit. Yeah. Bandit, bandit. Wait, is it a bandit? It's a bandit archer, I think. Oh, yeah. another archer. Okay, I think I got the room set up. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I don't understand when his special thing triggers, so I'm gonna hope that app triggers it <laughs> yeah i was in the middle of moving so that was one and with my second one i'm gonna move back into our room here okay although i guess that archer can still hit me darn it yeah but an elite archer can hit you for a lot more no i oh, mean the, the elite archer can still hit me although i might be out of range one two three four five six seven yeah okay yeah um, and my other attack, I mean, my other <laughs> move is going to be this attack. Um, I can target two, two targets, but that guy's out of range. So I wasn't going to be able to do it. So I just uh, targeting that guy. Okay. Um, with attack two. Plus zero. But he's dead, right? Yep. Dead. Foul. Okay, so. Oh wait, and I have to draw their initiatives. Yeah, you have to draw their initiative to see if they go before me. Okay, Bandit Commander. Uh, drew a 14. Dang it. And then the Bandit Archer is still at 56. Okay, so this Bandit Commander, um, does special number two which was summons one normal living bones for two characters or one elite living bones for three or four characters. So he summons the living bones. Adjacent to himself, I guess? I assume so. Living bones. Okay. Okay, this actually makes me feel better because I was afraid that he did special one and special two every turn. And I was like, there's no way. <laughs> Because uh, our our completion is we have to kill him and every monster that we've seen. Yeah. And we can't open the doors, so. All right. Okay. So he summoned the living bones. The living bones, uh, do they go this turn? And if so? I don't think so. I think summons have to wait one turn. OK.
think you're right. I know I looked this up last last time because I summoned something. Yes. Um, okay, a summons turn in the initiative order is always directly before the character who summoned it. Mm -hmm. Summon figures never take a turn in the round they are summoned. Okay. So he's just there. Marking the page. Okay. But he always goes right before his summoner? Or that's just for the I think that's maybe summoning. just if a character summon does the summoning. Yeah. Okay. All right. So My turn has now become way more confusing than it was going to be. Um, all right, I'm going to move. One, two, three. Yeah, I can't make it all the way there. All right. So I'm going to move to um, one two to be right next to you and then i'm going to play this potent potables card um so the next three heals i can uh add plus two heal okay since i am concerned that was your turn that was my turn my turn is done okay the two archers um don't have a only movement. one archer. Hmm? One archer. Oh yeah, one archer. Mm -hmm. Let's kill this guy. Okay. The one archer um, has attack to range. Uh, that's so small. Range five. Okay. But not within range. I think we're seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and doesn't move, so it's not attacking us. Okay. The Living Bones moves three. No, Living Bones doesn't get to move. That's right. So now it's the next round. Oh, and I have to do, I believe, a short rest here. Okay, short rest. Losing this card. Bummer. Which card did you lose? I lost my move five card, which would have been handy right here. Yeah, that would have been handy. I wonder if, like, should we run in there and try to get to them or wait for them to come to us or what? Um, 
I'm nervous if we wait for them to come to us, he's just gonna spawn a whole bunch of yeah. skeletons or he's gonna start opening doors and letting all the monsters out. Right. So I feel like running in and killing him at least is the best idea. Yeah, run in and kill him as fast as possible basically, right? Yeah. Okay, I agree. Um, it's scary, but I think it's what needs to be done. Because otherwise we're going to be overwhelmed by whatever's in the rooms, which is, I think, nasty living corpses. Right. Which are quite healthy. Okay, I've got 10. I have 19. 10, 19, and they have, whew, there's me at, at 10, the archer's at 16, the commander's at 17, then you, and then the skeleton's at 20. Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> Everybody's really excited this turn. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, I'm moving two. One, two. Okay. That's yeah. nice. And then I'm turning invisible. Nice. Where's my invisibility thing? Okay, on your next attack while invisible, double the value of the attack. Cool. Um, your turn. No, not your turn. Bandit Archer. No, I don't laugh. No, never mind. I go after the Archer. Yeah, no, the I Archer moves him. three, attacks two with a range of five. Can't see me anymore, so it goes after you, right? One, two, three, me. four, five, six, seven. So one, two. And shoot you. Wait, how? I thought it had a range of five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. one, two, Aren't you three. right next to the door? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Oh, you're right. I was counting weird. And shoots me sad. Okay, how bad's the damage? Um, draws a zero, so it does two damage. Face. And then the bandit commander does special number two, so he summons another skelly. Stupid skellies. Next, yeah. Number six. Okay, your turn. Okay. I am going to move into the doorway, move one, and then I am summoning a decoy because I feel like this is when we need the tank and I'm putting it right next to you. And it does nothing because it's its turn. Or yep. it's, it doesn't get a turn yet. So there you go. There's my turn. So this one skeleton gets to go, but not this one. Right. Okay. This guy can move one, attack one, and heal himself. But So he moves one. I think. Yeah. I'm glad he does not have a bow. Yep. Okay. Next turn. All right. Let's see what I have left. Well, that's not terrible. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Have we decided whether um, heals also? No, because you don't pull from the deck to do a heal. So I was wondering if like it says range of three on a heal, if you're at disadvantage 
right, on the heel, but you don't pull from the deck for a heel. So never mind. That was a silly question. How many cards do you have in your hand? Um, six. Okay. No, I mean like in your hand right now. You haven't. It's six. Six. Yeah. Okay. About to use two. Okay. I'm trying to decide when to help you out with that. Because I have that special card that lets you recover your discarded cards. Mm. God, I don't know if this will work. Okay. I'm ready and I've got uh, 36. I have 37. 36. 37. The archer has 14. <laughs> The skellies have 45 and the commander has 52. Okay, so just this stinking archer. Yeah, the archer can move one, attack two, range five. Uh, so just basically shoot you. Nope, shoots the... Oh, shoots the, the summon dude. The summon guy. Create a three damage trap in any adjacent empty hex closest to an enemy. A damage trap too? Yep. Ugh. In any adjacent hex closest to the enemy, so like right in front of himself. And it's a three damage trap? Uh huh. All okay. right. Um, but also shoots the summon dude. For how much? For one damage. Okay. It's not the end of the world. He has six, so. Um, okay, so I move. Three. One, two, three. Um, should I attack now? If I attack, I become not invisible anymore. Um. Yes. I mean, and the archer will be able to get you on the next turn. Yeah, but I can. I should attack now because I might as well use this card now when I can. It's a range okay. four. He's within range. One, two, three, four. This guy's within range. Oh, okay. Attack three, range four. Um, but it's basically double damage. Oh, nice. So attack three, range four, minus one. I'm going to double it before minusing one. Okay. So, so six minus one is five damage. But he has a shield, right? No, the bandit commander? No, he doesn't. He just has 10 life. No, 20 life? 20. But now he has 15. Sweet. And I'm no longer invisible. I totally put him in one of these sleeves, and it's totally not. It's. There's not this many of him. So. <laughs> There's probably a boss sleeve somewhere that I just didn't even notice. <laughs> right. Um, okay, your turn. Okay. So first, my guy goes and he moves two, so he's going to move one, two, to like next to the trap, because he doesn't have to go in the trap. Yep. So he's just going to hang out there, and then I'm going to move, hold on, yeah, I'm going to move one so i'm just inside the door okay and then i'm going to shoot you for three heals Ooh, yay just shot you with some elixir it's weird <laughs> and i have to do a short rest <laughs> i think of it it's like it's like star trek right i just like with the sure. inoculation thing. 
-hmm. Okay, <laughs> skeleton number six can move three and attack one. So he goes one, two, and attacks me for one. Okay. Draws a plus zero, so I take one damage. Think. Okay. Skeleton number two, this guy moves one here and attacks the summon thing. Okay. Draws a plus zero, so does one damage. All right. Hold on half a second. My puppy is eating my furniture. Uh oh. Don't eat the furniture. Go back out front. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't want to go. We need to go out front. Thank you, buddy. Ejected. Good He's job. getting enormous. Thank you. That's the most successful I've been today. <laughs> oh, he's back. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, the bandit isn't doing a special thing. He is, he's got move two, attack two, range of three. The target's two people. Uh-oh. Um, so, he's closest to um, the summon. Does he move so that he can attack two people, or does he just attack one person if he's only in range with one person? Um, if it is a multi-target attack, it will move toward a position where its attack will hit its focused enemy and as many other enemies as possible. So it focuses on the summon because that's the closest, but then it will try to move so that it can hit both of you. So that he just like shifts over one because you said range of three. Yep. So he shifts okay. over here. Yeah. Because that puts you both in range. Mm -hmm. And then shoots. I assume you can shoot over the sarcophagus. Wait, how does he have a range of three? What do you mean? His basic stats, he has no range. Well, he's got the special thing. Okay. He's got a fancy attack. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. So how much damage does he do? Okay, so on me, he, does, he attacks for two minus one, so he does one to me. Okay. On the summon thing, he draws a minus two and does zero damage. Woohoo! The summon thing, by the way, is called a harmless contraption because it doesn't actually attack, it just sits there. <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next round. Okay, I have to do a short rest, so give me a sec here. That's quite a bottleneck in there. I can't get to the big guy. Ooh. Dang it, proximity mine is gone. It's one of my good movement cards. Sounds funny, but it is true. The skeletons do have a shield. They do, and that makes me super sad. This is the better way to go. No, it's not. Never mind. Hey, um, we've only had one round after the invisibility thing, right? Yes. The, oh, I forgot the, you. The night thing is waning, right? I can actually use this card. That's amazing. <laughs> I sort of forgot about, I always forget about those because I don't have anything that uses them. Right. Um, I'm ready. I... 
All right, I think I'm ready now. Okay, I've got 23. No, I right. have. Hmm. I've got 93. Okay, I've got 17. I have a clever plan. Okay, clever plans are good. Okay, the skeleton has a 12. Dang. The bandit commander has a 14 and is going to be summoning another skeleton. Uh. You've got 17. And the archer has 68. And then I've got 93. Okay. So the skeletons now have shield 2 this turn and heal self for 2 and don't attack. Neither of them were damaged, right? Yeah, well, and he you said he summons, so none of them are damaged. Right. Okay, so that's that. And then the dude summons another skeleton. I think he puts the skeleton behind the coffin so that it has to go as far as possible. Hmm? So instead of it being here where it can just, like, walk forward one, it's definitely way back here. <laughs> Why? Because it makes it easier for us. <laughs> well, he wouldn't put it here. I mean, he wants to put it where it can actually reach one of us, right? Yeah. But let me double check that there's probably a rule. Just says it's placed in an empty hex adjacent to the figure. Okay. Behind the coffin's fine with me. He makes he makes a a bad mistake. Actually, I think it's smarter because the skeleton would just be stuck there, not doing anything. But this way, you can walk over here and try to get to you. Oh, uh, I guess that's true. Oh yeah, because they don't have archery, so okay. Never mind. I made him smart. I thought I was making him stupid. <laughs> All uh, right, is it my turn? It is your turn. Okay. So first, I'm going to attack two range of three. Two, uh, two targets, and I'm going to attack the bandit archer and the skeleton that's right next to you. Okay. Two, three, one, two, three, yep. Um, so for the, I guess we go elite first. So for the bandit archer plus zero, so I do two damage to the bandit archer. Okay. Um, and then I move to one, two. Oops, I forgot to move my guy, but he doesn't move anywhere because he's like right hey, next to a skeleton awesome. anyway. To attack the skeleton. Oh, yep. I already forgot to attack the skeleton. Plus one. And you said he's got two shield this time? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I do one damage to that skeleton. Okay. And also the summon dude doesn't move, right? Or does move. I'm not. Yeah, the summon dude probably won't move because he's like right next to a skeleton anyway. Yeah. Well, could move to make the archer have a disadvantage. Yeah, I guess that's true. That makes sense. Okay, so he moved one in between the two of them, but now he's left it open so that the skeleton can come around. But I guess they have to kill him anyway because he's close. All right. So I go one, two, and I'm right behind you, and then. Okay. I heal one. It says affect all adjacent allies. Do we decide that that means I get to heal myself too? I don't think you're adjacent to yourself. I'm not adjacent to myself. Dang. All right. So I healed you for one. But not me. Do you still have that thing where you're healing? At, oh, at I am. But yes. Okay. So my next heal is plus two heals. So I actually heal you for three, but I can't. So I heal you for two. Okay. There's my little guy. Did it once. Okay. And I am done my turn. Finished with my turn. Okay. So this archer has uh, attack four range, ridiculous. <laughs> so I guess moves away, right? To here? Uh, yes. To then attack the summoned? Mm hmm. Draws a negative one, so three to points of damage. One, two, three. 
How many hit points does this thing have? Six. So I'm down to one hit point left. Wow. Okay. But it's done its job. It's taken lots of damage for us. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Uh, I'm going to attack five plus whatever card I draw because it's waning darkness plus zero. Okay. Um, so five on this guy, minus two for the shield, that's three. Not dead. Not dead at all. And then attack him for another three. <laughs> and then you what? Attack him for another three. I have a bottom attack oh. card. Cool. Plus zero. He's dead. Yay. Ooh. Skeleton man. Except we just got a new one, so. Right. Okay, next round. Next round. How many cards do you have in your hand? Two. All right. Oh, do I do a short rest or just do these guys? Just do those guys. I have a plan. Man, this is a terrible card. <laughs> okay. I'm ready, but this is bad. I got a right. nine. I have nineteen. Okay, me, then you, then the archer, then the commander, then the skeletons. Okay. Um, I'm just going to move two. Okay. One, two. Oh, I don't get this. Bummer. Why don't I move on top of the loot? <laughs> Okie dokie. So that I can collect the loot. And then attack for three points. I mean, three damage. Mm -hmm. Plus two, five damage. Nice. That's the that's that's, that's the archer. archer. Yay! Nice. Go away, elite archer. Leave some loot. Okay. Is that your turn? Yep. All right. So my turn. So first. The summon guy moves one next to you, and then I move one up behind you. Mm -hmm. And sadly, that used my move on this one, so I can't help you with your cards, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Um. But then I'm going to do this net shooter, which is a range of three, one, two, three, and it'll target both the commander and the skeleton. Okay. That's next to him. As attack of three, immobilize, and then I gain some uh, XP as well. Okay. Which is good because I'm bad at XP. Okay, so 
Um, they're each immobilized. Okay. And, um, okay, attack three. So for the bandit commander, I got a curse, so I do zero damage to him. Great. And for the skeleton, I got plus one, so I do four damage, minus one shield is three damage. And that is sad, and I don't actually, so the curses, unlike the other whiffs, you don't get to reshuffle, so. Oh, I guess that's good. I guess so. And that uh, eliminates this card, so that card is gone now. Gotcha. Okay, so the bandit commander would do a move and attack, but can't move because they don't immobilize, so can't attack mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. The skeletons, uh, this guy moves one, no, moves three and attacks one. Target one enemy with all attacks. What Which skeleton? Mean? Target one enemy with all attacks. Well, they have, a, they have target two. The living bones have extra targets. Oh. So he would try to attack twice the summon guy. So he moves one and then attacks the summon guy twice. Yep. Okay, for one damage each, but the first one well, is plus he, two, so that's three. Yep, he did. And then I won't bother drawing the second card. Yeah, bye-bye summon guy. Thank you for your help. And then the other skeleton moves three. I guess. No, he doesn't. Round. He's immobilized. Oh, immobilized. Next round, then. Next. And I have to do a short rest. Yeah, I'm sorry. I tried. One day, I'm actually going to get to use that card properly and <laughs> get you all your cards back. Never plan appropriately. Oh, I forgot that I get two, I get two XP for targeting two things. Losing, that's fine. I'm losing the bonus card that I, uh, if I'm invisible, or if not, if I'm invisible, but if I had used that invisible power because of the dark. Ah, gotcha. So it doesn't matter because I can't turn invisible anymore. I am ready, whenever you are. I'm trying to focus fire on this dude, huh? Which, the bandit commander? Yeah. Do you need me to get out of your way? Uh, no, because all my stuff is ranged, so I just shoot around you. They're going to attack me in full force this time. Okay. I'm they're ready they're both demobilized, by the way. They can now walk around again. I've got nine. I have 20. That is bad angle, 20. Okay, so it'll be me, then the bandit commander, who's going to summon another skeleton, then you, then um, the skeletons. Okay. So for me, stupid skeletons. Oh man. Um, I'm playing this next time you suffer damage this round, suffer no damage instead. Okay. And then I'm shooting the commander 
square three. Okay. Three plus curse. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> you tell him around kids a lot. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. <laughs> he summons a skeleton probably right in front of him. Right. On the on the stuff? Wouldn't he? Yeah, I think he would. But it's sitting on the loot. Yeah. Sad. I feel like okay. that's what he would do. Because it's but right. it doesn't it that one doesn't do anything. Right. This time. Okay. Right, your turn. All right. So I'm giving both of us shield for this turn. Shield one. Okay. So we're both shielded for a turn. Um, and then I'm going to attack one range three stun to this guy that's next to the trap in the hopes that he doesn't walk up and whack you. Why don't you so, stun the guy? Why don't you stun the bandit? The bandit guy? Yeah. Then can, I shoot through, that turn. can I shoot through his his guy though? Yeah, yeah you can. I can? I think so. Let me see if it says range, page 19. Okay, any, yep, it doesn't say anything about if there's somebody in between us. All right, so yeah, let's try to stun him then. Except he's already done his turn. That was why I was going to try to stun yeah, the other guy. Yeah, but he'll be stunned until the end of his next turn. Oh, duh. Okay, good call. All right, so I'm going to attack him for one and stun him. He's now stunned because I don't have to do that. But then minus one. So I don't do any damage. But he's stunned. But he is stunned. For now. Okay. The skellies move. Dang it. <laughs> um so this guy was just summoned, he doesn't go. This yep. guy moves forward one and attacks me for zero plus one. So attacks me for one, which is okay. um, nothing because I have a shield, but also I have this card which makes it nothing as well. Then this skeleton moves four. One, two, three, four. Attacks me. Oh. Um, for one, uh, minus the shield, right? Yep. And then this card goes away. Okay. Wait, does that card actually go away? Because it said the next time you would take damage. On both of those, no, you would take damage. The next time you suffer damage this round. Oh. Oh, well. Okay, so goodbye, shield. Yeah. Okay, so the commander is stunned this turn. Mm -hmm. And there's skeletons in my way, so I can't get to them. <laughs> That's sucky. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yep, that and that. Oh man, this is sucky. Uh, I have 18. I have a plan. Hopefully it'll work. I have 86. Okay. <laughs> 86. Eight, eight. They have. Bandit Commander is stunned, so it doesn't do anything. He would, he would have gone for a 17. Uh, mm -hmm. You go, then the skeletons go, then I go. Okay. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is that ridiculous one from last time that won everything, the Ink Bomb. So that's an attack of four, range of three, um, and it puts the dark back all the way up. Okay. Uh, so I can attack, I think I'm going to attack the two, which two skeletons? Which two skeletons makes the most sense? The ones in my way to get to him. Okay, so I attack those two skeletons. 
And actually, one of those ha already has a bunch of damage, right? Yes. This this guy is down to two points of damage. Okay, but they still have shield. All right, so it's an attack four. So um, I draw a plus zero for whichever one is first. Which one's first? I don't know. Well, which numbers do they have on yours? This is six and this is nine, so plus zero on this guy? Yep. So that's a three. Okay. Because he has a shield on on the six guy, right? Yep. Okay. And um, then attack four times two. So obliterated that guy. Goodbye, dude. Oh no, I want him still out. Goodbye, dude. Okay. And that's like that. And then I can move two, but I don't want to. So actually, I'm going to move back one so that I'm a little bit further away from them. Yeah. Okay. That goes away and that goes there. And then I have to shuffle this because my 2x is a shuffle. Right. Okay, so then the skeletons move. Through. You don't need to move. They attack for one. So the first guy attacks me, um, draws a plus zero, so it hits me for one. I'll take that. The second guy attacks me and misses. Sweet. And now it's my turn. Yes. Ooh, I'm actually, I can get her within range now. Oops, wrong cards. Okay. Um, Okay, I'm going to move two spaces, one, two, so I'm next to him, and then attack him for three. Okay. Miss. Dang. And we still have 15 damage we need to do to him. Yeah, but now I'm next to him. Okay, I have to do a short rest. Maybe I do too. Dang, I lost my flamethrower. He hasn't opened one of the doors yet. I know. <laughs> We're going to get like no loot. <laughs> but that's probably because I am fairly certain that if he started opening doors, we would rapidly descend into not winning. <laughs> OK. Um, I guess I've got a 10. <laughs> I, hold on. Yeah, I've got a 20. It's me, then him, who's going to summon another skeleton, then you, then the skeletons. Okay. There's a lot of summoning. Yeah. Hmm. So 
you only get um uh disadvantage if you're next to the person you're trying to shoot i think so then i'm gonna totally work work this <laughs> <laughs> um i'm gonna move one and poison the adjacent enemy so this skeleton poisoned although it seems weird that skeletons can't poison with number six Oops, I accidentally killed him. Did you kill him? In the app, uh, poison. I'm just trying to find the poison marker. There we go. I accidentally did the, um, did a, uh, there's a skull and crossbones icon that I confused for the poison icon. And when you click on that, then it just removes it from the thing. Um, Oh, you killed him in the app, not right. in real life. Not in okay. The okay. And then I'm going to attack two, range three, and target these two. The okay. Two I'm not standing next to. Okay. Um, so against the bandit commander, I get plus zero, so it's two damage. And then against the skeleton, minus one, so it's one damage. And then he has a shield, so zero damage. So zero damage, okay. Oh, and then it's the bandit commander's turn. Yeah. The bandit commander summons a skeleton. I'll be right next to him. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have moved away. Dang it. He still would have put it like right in your face and it can't do anything right now. So Well, but and if I was right next to him, I mean, now I can't get to them again. That's the problem, you know? Yeah. Mm. Okay, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna move. Am I gonna move? No, I'm not gonna move at the moment. All right, I'm gonna attack two, range three, target two to the two skeletons that are closest to me. And uh, since the one is poisoned- Wait, how much the range that you have? Three? Range three. Okay. Um, so, um, the one that's closest to me, what number do you have? A seven for him. Okay, me too. All right, so I attack the, the guy on the number six first. Okay. And I get plus one and then plus one more because he's poisoned, right? Yep. So that's four minus one. So that's three damage to him and he's dead. Yep. So now there's two loot things there. Yep. And then... That is totally not a loot token. It's a something else token. There you go, loot. And then the other guy um, attack two, minus one, minus one, so zero damage to him. Okay. We cannot kill that guy. We can't damage him at all. And that's, well, wait, nope. That's only part half my turn. Um, and then I'm going to move I'm going to move back around the end of the table, one, two, so that he has to go the long way around to get to me either way. But he's going to go after me. Oh, yep, that's true. So I'm only going to move one away. If you actually move, I mean, I don't know if you want to do this, but if you're standing right next to him, I get advantages and stuff for having enemies next to somebody else. That's my friend. And he only does one damage. All right, that makes sense. But it makes it harder for you to attack them because you're, you're all the range stuff. 
So I don't know if you want to do that. I do have, no, I don't. I used to have a thing about adjacent guys, but I don't anymore. So, but I can help with card management if I'm right where I just put myself. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to stay there for now. That was a good thought. I have to do a short rest. Okay. Wait, did the skeletons go now or did they already go? Oh, shit. Yeah, skeleton. Uh, this guy just got summoned. So it's just this guy. Okay. Move to attack two. So attacks you oh. now. <laughs> attacks you for three. Boo. Okay, using this card. Bummer. That's a nice card. I'm going to take a wound. Oh, what was it? One wound for drawing a different card or losing a different card? Uh, you can. Um, I think, yeah, you take, you, you take a hit and you can. Pick a different card. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Was it even worse? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's good. <laughs> I might have to take a long rest soon. Um, geez, okay. I'm down to three cards, by the way. So, like, one, two. I only have two rounds left in me. Okay. Um, I'm doing a ten. Tenner. Hold on, I changed my mind again. It means absolutely nothing, though. Um, eighteen. Okay, they've got 36 and 81. Okay. Um, all right, my 10. I'm gonna move here. And uh, do you want me to kill that skeleton next to us? No, I should go after him. I'll attack him. Okay. For three, hopefully. Plus zero, three points of damage. Okay. Get down to ten. Ten. Okay. My turn now? Yep. Okay. 
one adjacent ally may recover all of their discarded cards. Yay! You can now put all those cards that you just played back in your hand. Excellent. So now we have two more rounds. And then attack to uh, range of three, poison and greeny thing. Um, so since I'm right next to that guy that's next to me, that's not going to work. So I'm going to attack the bandit commander and poison him. And it's attack two, minus one, so it's attack one. So he gets one more point of damage. I'm contributing, Mark. <laughs> and that's my turn. Okay, the bandit moves three and attacks three. Doesn't have to move, attacks me for three. Um, draws a plus one, attacks me for four. Yikes. I'm gonna use my leather armor. Okay. So he gets a disadvantage. Okay. It's either plus one or times two. So it'll be a plus one there. <laughs> <laughs> so it hits me for four. Dang, okay. I'm at two hit points. Okay. Um, now this guy, number seven here, goes after me, I believe, because my initiative is lower. Yep. Attacks are three. Plus zero, I'm dead. Sad. Here lies Foxy. Yep. And then the other guy doesn't get to move, so doesn't attack you. Oh, wait. Okay. They target two. So yep. this guy also attacks you, right? Yep. Draws a plus zero, so does three damage. And I'm also dead. What? Damn. Oh. I feel like we almost had it. This yeah, next turn, we were really I've done close. like five or six points of damage to him. Wow. Sad. I told you there was no way. What the heck? My alarms won't stop going off. Um, sad. And he didn't even like open doors and let out a leaf <laughs> or anything. We just, sad. Well, we run home. I got loot at least. I got one whole loot. I got four. That's worth two each. Nice. <laughs> So I'm up to like 10, 10 again. Yep. Oh. 10 whole gold. Too bad. I also feel like we were close. I think our strategy was good, but then do I get extra XP too? Is it like two XP each or no? I don't think so. Mm. Nope, there is both experience. What? You get XP? Up. For what? Yeah, you get extra XP. That's bonus experience. Um, since we're doing normal, the scenario level is one, the monster level is one, gold conversion two, trap damage is three, bonus experience is six. But don't oh, that's for completing a scenario. That's for completing an area. Which, did we give ourselves that bonus experience last time? Yeah. For, okay. Yeah, we did. Cool. I knew he was going to be bad. I completed my thing too, but I don't, we don't get it. No, you don't get it if you... Cause a trap. <laughs> Cause a trap to be sprung or disarmed on your turn. I probably did mine. Kill three or fewer monsters. Because <laughs> I never kill the monsters. They <laughs> just poison them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pretty well, pitiful character. 
I think maybe our next game will be easier level. Yeah, I think we might need to play easy level because <laughs> we picked squishy characters. Our characters are super squishy, or mine is super squishy anyway. Put the gold back. It fits back. So yeah, welcome to another we failed at the scenario. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we are going to probably be playing easy level from now on because we are not super good at this. <laughs> well, it's been real. <laughs> And we managed to lose in about exactly two hours. So, you know, it's yeah. good. We don't take up too much of your time. It's not an eight hour campaign. Watch as Melissa and Mark play every scenario twice. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, next time will be, I don't know when, next week maybe. Maybe next week, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I'm free on Wednesday, but it would have to be in the afternoon for me. And then on Friday, I don't- Still recording you. Next week, let me see. Next week, next week I'll be more free. Next week, I'm good. I can do Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday morning, okay. Thursday. I'll just message you. Friday afternoon. Okay. I'm gonna start recording now. Thank you for watching our failed episode <laughs> again. <laughs> we didn't fail an episode. We just failed at winning the scenario during uh, the. Yes. Yeah. Technically true. Luckily, you don't actually die. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just get exhausted and run away. I think you can play a hard version where you actually perma die. There's perma death. There was like a variation, but I feel like that would be that's like a long time from now. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Or I, I'm gonna stop recording at least.